So to summarise my talk, um, it's important to know that high blood pressure is a terrible feature of polycystic kidney disease and drives a high rate of mortality in patients. No one really knows why high blood pressure is so prevalent. I suspect that inadequate hydration might play a role in these patients. And so, in my experiments, I wanted to determine whether a hormone released from the brain when you're dehydrated contributes to high blood pressure. And so I blocked this hormone and found that it reduced high blood pressure in rats with polycystic kidney disease. I then looked at whether some neurons in the brain that are activated when you're dehydrated, whether those neurons also cause high blood pressure in rats with polycystic kidney disease. And I found that, in fact, they do. And so the take-home message from my experiments and my talk here at the Hydration for Health conference is that in polycystic kidney disease, a hormone released when you're dehydrated and neurons activated when you're dehydrated contribute to high blood pressure in this disease. How does my talk and my experiments contribute to hydration science? Well, currently, um, our best approach to try and manage high blood pressure in polycystic kidney disease is to throw three, four, maybe five medications at patients. And this is not good. Um, if we can identify that you can reduce blood pressure in these patients just by giving them a litre, two litres of water extra per day, then this will be of tremendous benefit. Music